I think um, it's, it's very well known that like soil is so important uh, for life on Earth. Um, it supports so many biota, but um, uh, it creates it's also a cultural link. Uh, the soil has always been uh, the, the reference point for conflict, but also for unity uh, of people. Um, we are through a point in the history of mankind that uh, all sorts of transformations uh, happen. So I think it's very important that um, we, and especially our generation, uh, gets engages in a serious dialogue about the future uh, of life, but also what type of future we want. And uh, usually, to engage in such a dialogue, you need to find um, topics that can gather people and opinions around a unifying uh, platform. And I think soil, as it is so uh, integral and relevant to everybody's uh, lives, I think provides such uh, a platform as a topic. I'm particularly inspired to be part of this dialogue because I think it is this type of exchange between young people, young and old, uh, people from different countries, people from different walks of life. It is this type of processes and this type of social fermentation that will give us the solutions because it is obvious that we are confronted with unprecedented challenges that are coming towards us at the same time and most of the times are affecting the most vulnerable parts of the society. And as these challenges are unprecedented, we have to uh, put an unprecedented effort. So I guess uh, apart from being thoughtful and respectful about the importance of soil res resources for our very own existence, I think soil is what gets us back to the basics, exactly what uh, a failed economic and political system needs us to do today, to go back to the uh, basics. But I'm leaving the forum with, with such a big hope and optimism that it doesn't really going back to the basics, but actually going forward to the basics. Uh, our generation has a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to reconciliate with the land. And in my opinion, this is the, the highest form of modernism. I don't want to eat food that deprives food from someone else in the, in the planet. I don't want to wear clothes that deprive resources from someone else in the planet. So I came to this realization that my food is a political action. Like actually I vote with my fork and I have three votes every day. So I started making the most out of this right that I have to influence my own health, the health of the people around me but also the health of the planet. It is obvious that also our laws have to refresh. They have to take into consideration these new media, these new ways of uh, living. And um, it becomes uh, obvious that we have a problem with only 6% of European farmers, for example, under the age of 35 years old, who is going to produce our food? So there is a need for uh, government policies that will attract, will give uh, uh, incentives to young people to return to the land and to merge science, technology and the, the knowledge, the agricultural knowledge that exists in our countryside. Taste is a great tool for socializing people. It opens up uh, people and, uh, and exactly puts them into the process of taking time to appreciate the processes behind each taste, to appreciate the, por the process behind uh, each product, the process of production, the food culture, the, the struggle of the producer uh, with the weather, with the, with the economy, with the land. and. Um, it is very important that uh, consumers open up their senses to food and by opening their eyes and their taste to the sen and their senses to food actually opening their eyes 
uh, to more global uh, challenges. I'm going to create a farm. Right now there are fields with trees, but I'm going to put effort and resources and knowledge in creating a farm, something that people can visit, something that people can, can visit to learn and um, create a little beacon of sustainability for my region. Uh, I have the privilege to be a very mobile person and like traveling around the world and I know people from all over the world. I want them to come um, to come and uh, and see what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do and to replenish our so the soil resources in our farm. And um, I actually need to harness the potential of, of this network and share, and share my knowledge but also get and learn from their knowledge. Knowledge. So I'm leaving the forum with a little uh, pack of seed, of soil and seeds. I've been asking people to say some nice words on my seeds. So when I leave Sweden and I go back to my home, I'll put it in a pot. I will speak to my parents about the story and the words that these seeds have heard. And I will put it in a pot and then before I put it in our farm under an ancient olive tree, I will ask some friends to join me to listen to this story and hopefully they will also get inspired and maybe they will join me to make this farm a living space, a space of participation, a space of exchange and um, hopefully there will be more and more and more people coming from around the world and they will be feeding and nourishing this seed, this little plant with their knowledge, with their compassion, with their energies and this is the seed of the summer of soil. And I believe that this summer we should take our future back.